was a study examining the personality of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I, all I'm thinking all the time is, what are those goats thinking? You know, what do they think he's doing? They're just thinking, well, what is he doing? Do you think goats think? Of course they do. Yeah, goats are quite clever. How do you know that? My research tells me that. <laughs> You're going to get the next I spent year's. three days. <laughs> I spent three days researching the intelligence of goats. Yeah, it's all here, documented down your, here. Ig, you've got your Ig Nobel Prize under here. Uh, 11 minutes past seven is the time. Sport with Mike coming up. All the weather for you as well. If you're tricked into transferring money to a fraudster's account, should your bank have to cover the loss? At the moment, the banks don't have to, but there are calls for this to change. Yes, the consumer group which says liability should be shifted towards money lenders who would then try harder to fend off the criminals. Well, let's talk about this more now. Katie Warabeck, Director of your time this morning as well. The time now is 25 minutes past seven. Let's talk to Victoria this morning because um, she's at a science fair in East London and um, she's taking a step out of this world for a moment. To us this morning. Um, so what's your opinion on the expansion of grammar schools? What impact do you think that will have? Well, as you've just said, which can take part in triathlons. About 1,200 will be doing that in the Heaver Castle. Apologies, tomorrow. Mike. I was taking a bit of water, water, which is very important if you're doing a triathlon to be well... <laughs> He says water. it's not off the cards, Charlie doing a triathlon. I think, yeah, do one of the kids' lens ones, you know, 800 metre swims. So uh, you, you'll be taking a lot of water today then, will you, ahead of school tonight? <laughs> Is that yeah. part of the preparation? I feel nervous just thinking do about you? it. Watching you, I'll be nervous. So, oh, but they're in check, aren't they? You, you've got it under control. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Let me give you some good luck vibes, OK? No, <laughs> it's not the rutting suit. Uh, what are you doing just, there? Well, I, I wanted the sit, vibes. Let's go for a high five. There Thanks, we go, that's Mike. Better. See you later. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Be easy to say good luck. Oh, Let's see, 8.38 is the time now. Now, to an issue that affects half the workforce, but it's rarely spoken about, period pain. It can be serious and... I always worry for your welfare. You really are the caring, sharing so type, can't Charlie? You're up at this morning, but you're going to be dancing tonight. Well, we don't know who's dancing tonight. Okay. Of all the couples dancing, well, we can't say who's dancing But it's tonight. a live show tonight. I'll be at the live show tonight, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, tonight and tomorrow night. So tonight it's at 9 o'clock on BBC One, and then tomorrow it's at 6.30. So six couples will dance tonight, nine will dance tonight. Anything nine you want to share with us? Like what? <laughs> no, I'm just asking you. What are you allowed to say? You're allowed I'm to tell you I'm dancing. I'm allowed to tell you I'm dancing to the waltz. Uh -huh. Or dancing the waltz, I should say, and dancing to Whitney Houston's Run to You. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm allowed to say. Okay. There you, you know go, Matt. Are you, you listening know, carefully? Yeah. You've got that. <laughs> Matt is just giggling. I am. Listen very carefully. There's no point in me doing the weather really for this evening and tomorrow evening because we'll be sat in watching. Oh, we? that's kind. There you go. That's I know when our family will I'm be. I'm sure so a lot of people will be um, interested in the weather because you're. Um, it's funny. <laughs> that's it for breakfast today. We'll be back tomorrow from six. You won't be. I won't be. Have a lovely evening. Um, have a good day. And we're going to leave you with a beautiful view because we've enjoyed it all morning. Bally Robert Gardens near Ballyclare. Bye bye.